filmmaking is completely changing with advancements in new technology. Check this out. told you that only the actor in that was real. And on top of that, it was all made in real time. We're no strangers to visual effects content. In fact, it's the entire purpose of this YouTube channel and all of the content we make. But what's crazy to think is that this YouTube video we made over seven years ago. Freeze! Action. It's seeming more and more possible every single day. I'm gonna show you. Now when I say real time, I mean we literally got to see this fake robot in real life on our screen. Check this out. I've got this robot matching my every movement with this motion capture suit. It's pretty crazy. And Brendan is literally able to pick up the camera and move around this scene, and this robot matches my every movement with camera track. When creating content for you guys, we've long dealt with three problems. Faster, better, and cheaper. And you only get to pick two of them. Call it the triangle of creative compromise. And that's where problems on our channel have existed because we want to make the best possible content for you guys and we're on a limited budget. So the only thing left to give is our time. And that causes some upload consistency problems. You guys know we aren't the fastest uploader on YouTube, but we're always taking our time to strive for the best possible quality for you guys. And this is where real-time rendering really fixes this problem for us because it finally allows us to make content that would have taken days, weeks, months to make, it puts it right in front of our eyes in the best possible quality that we're hoping to achieve, finally perfecting this triangle. So the production on the shoot was a breeze. We showed up to the warehouse in the middle of the night and on our monitor, we saw a back alley lot in the middle of the day. And we were able to stay there as long as we needed to get the shots that we needed, with no pressure on time. All right, so we got Brendan over here, and then we've got an Unreal Engine scene, and Brendan is piped into this Unreal Engine scene live, all from our computer. We want to match the lighting on his face. We need to match the cut of the scene. And currently how it's working is that the sun coming from that direction. But these little fill lights we have going on right here on the side of his face are really lighting him up too much. Makes it look like it's a studio setup. This right here looks perfect. It looks real. And we'll probably shoot it, for cinematography side, we'll probably shoot it with this direction of lighting. The only thing we're baking in with the lighting is the lighting in our footage here. We can adjust any lighting in the scene after the fact. That's what's amazing with this. We've got something that looks really nice. I'm happy. We're gonna try to record a little scene. <laughs> Thank you. 
All right, so here we got the virtual camera set up, and you can see I've got Brendan over here. He's recording us. He literally is the motion capture man. Raise your arm up real quick, Brendan. There you go. And I'm recording live in Keith. Dude, I, I seriously, I can't get over how cool this is. And you might think that a supercomputer is needed to run this, but we literally ran the entire thing on a laptop. This is a Dell Precision 7750 workstation, and it's packed with everything we needed to run the sequence in real time. Included in this thing is an RTX NVIDIA Quadro card, so we're able to have realistic ray tracing effects in this project. Ray tracing unlocked beautiful reflections, bounce lighting, and translucency, all in this project all on a laptop that's a small form factor. We show up with this laptop, we leave with the laptop. And this has been huge for us because we've never had this much tech jammed into this small of a form factor to be able to work without sacrificing quality. So a production like this would normally take weeks to months to do something of this level. Now, for post, there's not actually that much. A lot of that work is front-loaded into pre-production where we prepare our assets and get everything ready to shoot. But the advantage of that is that when we're on set, we're able to see everything live and make those little tweaks that we want to there in camera, basically. Now this opens up a lot of opportunity that we didn't have before. For instance, say Sam is directing this and decides that the robot doesn't look angry enough. We have total flexibility. Here you can see us just switching the colors of the eyes to something a little more angry. All on the fly and the new asset is ready to go. So we're using green screen, so post-production is pretty much just us going in and refining that key. Now a lot of people are actually skipping this step by just instead of a green screen using LED panels. So they're capturing this scene completely live in camera at this point. Now the LED panels are really cool because in addition to just having that background, they're also providing lighting to your subjects. Now the obvious disadvantage to the LED screens is you don't have the ability to really fix it in post the same way you would with a green screen plate. But overall, all this tech is going towards making things far faster and far easier to make some really awesome content. So there you have it. Technology is absolutely changing filmmaking and it's making our content better for you guys. So be sure to click that bell to be updated on that new content because you're not going to want to miss it. Also, did we mention that we're on Discord? Join that. It's a little awkward in the end card. Just here. All right. It's, it's over. Video's over.